What's going on everybody? Mitch Desk is here, Desky Strength. Feeling a little bit better than yesterday. I don't know what happened. Uh, I guess God just wants me to feel better so I can go change these lives. Anyways, I got some rest this morning. I uh, didn't have a 6 a.m. or a 7 a.m. so I woke up at 8, guys. That's like sleeping in. That's like some of you people out there that sleep till 12. That's how it feels for me since I wake up at 4. So that extra hours is definitely done something for me. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fantastic. Ready to take on the day. I want to show you guys what I'm eating right now. For breakfast, I got my cup of oat, or I got my cup of egg whites. I got a little bit of spinach in there. I got my three quarters cup of oatmeal. What I like to do, guys, I like to put a little tablespoon of honey, and then I like to drizzle it with some cinnamon. Obviously, guys, you know from the last video why I love cinnamon so much. I got my coffee there. And then, guys, this stuff right here, since I got to take one tablespoon of peanut butter, if you guys aren't messing with this, oh, man, this puts Nutella to shame. It's, it's tough to only have one, to only have one tablespoon. Well, guys, I'm going to go eat this meal. I'm going to go show you my workout. Today we're doing some back and biceps, maybe a little deadlift, see how my knee feels. And I'm gonna see you guys there. Right, guys, we are in the gym parking lot, about to get about to get ready. We're going to war with ourselves, going to war with our body and our mind. Who's gonna win? Some of y'all probably wondering, you know, what do I take before I work out? And you can't go wrong with the good old Starbucks. I get the uh, the Grande iced coffee, two Splendas, Chisel Chase. Put me on that. Great guys, just just plain old coffee. I don't really take supplements too much. I try to stay away from them, uh, especially on a diet. So I'm slimming down, shredding down. So this is what I take before I work out. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go. Let's put work in. All right, guys, here we go. We started our back workout with some cable pull downs. Here's my buddy Alex. He's he's hitting it hard. We're focused on squeezing at the bottom and that good stretch at the top. And then we supersetted it with some dumbbell pullovers. This is really going to help fatigue those lats and that back right before we get started. Here we go, guys. Got my Superman shirt on so you know I'm here. Going for business. I'm here, guys. I'm ready to kill it. So, got to get mentally focused. I'm doing my dumbbell pullovers, but notice I'm not coming all the way up. Now, if we come all the way up, that's where we're going to focus on hitting our chest. I just really want to hit the lats in my back, so I'm not coming all the way up right there. And then after that, we did four sets of this, 8 to 12, then we moved on to close grip pull down with that V bar. Again, see guys, I'm coming down, I'm squeezing my back, but I'm also controlling the weight all the way up. I'm not letting that weight control me. So, and then we have Alec over here, he's trying to show me up, guys. He's trying to show me up over here, taking that tank top off, so he's hitting it hard. Perfect form. He's coming down. He's squeezing. He's making sure he's making love to the back and that good control all the way up. So guys, I could let him make me look bad. So I had to take off the shirt. I always have a tank top underneath, guys. You got to get the pump before you take the shirt off. So again, guys, focus on squeezing. I'm coming all the way up. We did actually four sets of this on that four set. We did three drop sets. So just really fatiguing those lats, and then we just stayed with the lats. We just did some pull ups. We did weighted pull ups. This is the I think this is the last set. So we're just really trying to fatigue the lats as much as possible. I think I got 8 to 10 reps right here. I forced a few reps at the end just to really fatigue those lats a little bit more before we moved on to that next exercise. Just made it a little more difficult than the weighted. And then we got Alec over here trying to make me look bad again. Making him look easy. Again, guys, see that. He's focusing on squeezing. He's moving himself. He's making sure he's focusing on that. And then we did wide grip row, guys. We did 8 to 12 reps. Focus on squeezing. Focus on squeezing, guys. You want to make sure you're making love to the back and you're making sure that if you aren't, you got to drop the weight down, guys. Drop the ego so you're actually focusing on working that proper muscle. So then we superset it right to one arm dumbbell row. Again, I focus on squeezing at the top. This is great because not only are we working the depth, but we're also hitting that one side. We're going to fatigue as much as possible. And I like the combo of wide grip row to one arm row because wide grip are working on the width of our back. So if you guys have trouble getting a wide back, start hitting some wide grip rows. I guarantee you're going to see some increases with that. And then we're fatiguing it with the one arms because we're working on the depth of the back. So it's a great superset for any people who are trying to do some new things in their back routine. Just make sure you're focused on squeezing, guys. That's where it's all about. We're not powerlifting here. 
We're bodybuilding. We're trying to build that muscle. We're trying to sculpt it. Of course, guys, you had to see me hit the deadlifts. We focused on at the end of our workout. We were already fatigued at the moment. So we hit these deadlifts. We warmed up with 135, three sets of 10 first before we got to our working sets. Working sets started at three plates for me, 275 for Alec. I believe we did three sets of eight on those. Then it did four or five right here, guys. Actually, it was feeling really easy, especially not using my belt. I'm really not using my belt anymore just because I'm really trying to engage my core a little bit more since I'm not doing too much ab work. And then you see Alec right here. He hasn't done deadlifts in a long time. But notice, guys, whenever you've done them correctly, that form just continues to stay with you. Awesome job. Make sure that bar is staying next to his uh, shins the whole entire time. And then you had to see me hit that LeBron. Got the chalk on. So I get that grip. Guys, I don't use gloves. People ask me if I use gloves, and I say only gloves for girls. And I don't, I don't care if you take offense to that. I just believe that if you can't pull the weight up without chalk, then it's just too heavy. You need to throw it down. So I did 495 here. It's actually feeling really easy, guys. I got five reps on this, especially being a caloric deficit and no belt or no wraps. So it felt really great to get under that bar. Then we moved on to biceps. We did dumbbell incline curl. We did eight reps, guys, so I'm supinating. So that means I'm rotating that wrist out. I'm really trying to focus on the peak of that bicep. I'm really stretching it all the way down. I'm coming in and I'm squeezing, making love to the biceps. Then we stand up and we're hitting eight reps. We just want to failure right here. We just try to fatigue that bicep as much as possible. Guys, see I'm controlling that weight. I'm not letting it control me. If, you, if, you're, if you're flinging that, that dumbbell up, you guys gotta put the weights down. You gotta drop the weight because if you're just flinging that weight, if you're not properly working the bicep, you're working other muscles. This, whenever we drop the weight down, you can really tell a difference on squeezing and focusing I'm really working that muscle properly and then if you guys aren't seeing any development in your biceps I guarantee you it's because you're not working it properly you're not squeezing you're not you know you're not making love to that bicep which is what we want to do so we're just really fatiguing it I believe this is our last set right here just really trying to pound them out then we did dumbbell hammer curls four sets 10 to 12 reps so guys I'm going real slow I'm control I'm going alternating so I'm coming up I'm not coming up all the way you see a lot of guys come up all the way and to me, that's pointless because when you come up all the way, you lose tension in that short head. So I don't come all the way up. Alec does a lot. He likes to do it a little differently. He feels a little better that way. And you know, guys, just it all comes down to how you feel and how you like it. But what works best for me is coming about halfway to three quarters, and that's really where I feel good squeeze in that that short head bicep. And then we finished off with some standing barbell curls. I love these guys, especially going real slow like this. Just really squeezing that bicep at the top at a second hold, and then you control it on the way down. That negative, guys, when I'm coming down, that eccentric, really what builds our muscles. It's not coming up and squeezing, it's actually coming down and controlling the weight. So when I say to control it, that's the reason why, because that's where we're actually going to build our biceps or whatever muscle group that we're working. And you see Alex banging them out. On the last set, we did four sets, guys. On the last set, we actually banged out as many as we could, and then we dropped it down to the bar and just fatigued the biceps as much as possible. There you go, guys. The back and by workout. Hopefully, you learned something new. Hopefully, that knowledge is going to help you increase your development in your back and your biceps. Like I said, focus on the weight, guys. Focus on squeezing. Stop focusing so much on weight. Drop that ego. All right, so what we got here, I got my post-workout meal. I got my five to seven ounce sweet potato, no cinnamon, switching it up. And then obviously the turkey that I made last night with the bell pepper and the broccoli from Cooking with Mitch. Hope you guys had a great day today. Hopefully that was entertaining. Hopefully you learned something. But more importantly, like my stuff, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a terrific day. Go chase your dreams.